Welcome back to M Hood Fishing, everybody. So it is just about 2 p.m. in the afternoon. Heat index outside is 104. It's a little warm out there. Just got back from the P.O. Box, picked up two packages there. One went straight in the garbage because it was garbage, and the other one was not garbage. Let's see what that is. This is from Through Night. What does that say on there? TT20 Tactical Black Cool White. So this is a tactical flashlight, I'm going to assume. Kind of killing time here at the house. As you saw, there's dirty dishes in the sink and on the stove top. Wow, it's got a good weight to it. I'm gonna do those dishes before we go. We're kind of waiting for the tide to come in a little more. We want to wait for, get a little closer to high tide. Let that temperature drop a little bit out there. Probably gonna bring something home for dinner. I like this. Now it has a bit of a charge on it, but I need to charge that up. So let's see. This is aircraft aluminum. Nice clip here that you can take off if you want. It's got that button there. So when you click that, that goes into its turbo mode, the brightest it will be. We will look at the specs here in a sec. And then there's another button up here and you can there it is. Need to charge this. So you just hold that down and it gets bright. It goes into strobe, then goes back down. You just take your finger off where you want it to be. What else comes with this? This company makes the headlight headlamps that I use. It's a good company. They just send stuff and I check it out. So that's your paperwork, you know, specs and whatnot. Here's a lanyard that comes with it. Here's a charging cord that comes with it. Here's a pack of silica gel that comes with it. Don't eat that. And here we go. Here's a little thing you put on your belt so you can be Batman. Here's the specs real quick. I'm going to read off some of them. Now, the brightest in turbo is 2626. That's 2,600 and 26 lumens that's a lot firefly the lowest is 0.54 lumens strobe is 1294 lumens now underneath each spec that I just read off is how long it will stay in that mode with the battery The brightest, the lower. The lower the light, the more time you have on the battery. Wow, in Firefly, you can use that for 64 days. Pretty standard stuff. Pretty cool flashlight. These are really handy right now with things getting the way they are. So, with things the way they are right now in here and out there, we need to do some stuff to get ready. If we're doing a catch and cook, clean the kitchen. Yeah, you're right. That's not a, that big of a deal. And we're gonna gonna have to get out there in that heat. Don't want to, but we're gonna have to get out there kind of early because I don't have bait. Got to catch bait. It is. Whew. All right, I came down to this ATV track to say hi to those people fishing because they're fans. But I feel like I may have made a mistake because this, this is not the easiest track for me at the moment. Oh, we got it. You can definitely tell that people have been down here. It's been maybe a week since I came to this spot. I kind of chilled out during the full moon a little bit. So, speaking of the full moon, this is a Friday, so it's not too far off in the past from us. It's still affecting the tide. And high tide is about an hour away. And all this week, starting with Monday 
probably Sunday too, the tide was extreme high and low because of the super moon, the strawberry moon. The river is at just below 10 feet. It's at 9.9 .9 right now. We have about an hour, like I said, before high tide comes in, which is uh, just before 6 p.m. It is just around 5 p.m. right now. It is 89 degrees out here, though we're in the shade. It's a little better. It is very humid. And I saw that they found West Nile disease in Orleans Parish, but I'm not in that parish. So hopefully I'm safe. So I've got everything together, but I don't have bait yet. But real quick, we'll do a rundown. We're going to fish two catfish rods, for three rods though. Both rigs are the same, four ounces of lead, six ounce, uh, blah, 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 blah. Almost there, but not quite. Need to catch bait. I was tying stuff up. I brought three rods, but only two for catfish. This is my Akuma medium light, seven foot. We have a sumo spoon on here. The last time I was here, I believe I saw skipjack, but I could have seen white bass too. So that's just there. We have these two catfish rods, my two 10 foot Daiwa B sticks. We have both rigs the same this afternoon, four ounce no roll and a six uh, octopus style circle hook. I have the gold line on that Charlie sent, 45 pound test. There is no bait anywhere around here right now. Instead of just giving up and going back to the house to get something, I'm gonna start throwing the sumo spoon before I do that. I might change my mind because I just looked down on the ground and I see a shrimp. Somebody was down here eating chicken. Looks like there's bait here after all. There's some pieces of chicken right there. Just like a shrimp someone stepped on. Scavenge in here. Here's another piece of shrimp. Now this is cooked chicken bones. Somebody was down here eating a chicken from Balestras just throwing the bones to the side. I think I know who too. I would have to tie this onto the hook. They left hooks too. So there's a bunch of twine that was left down here as well. I can make use of that. Cut that right there. Let's try this one with that meat left on. It probably won't stay on for very long. The meat won't stay on the bone is what I mean. Got that chicken bone tied on there pretty good. Let's throw that out. Piece of shrimp on the other one. I know a chicken bone might seem like a long shot to a lot of people, but it can work. So I'm gonna be fishing the sumo spoon for a minute here on a Carolina rig. This is what the sumo spoon looks like. It's got two hooks, it's just a little piece of metal. Really presumptuous of me to think that I could catch bait. I, I could have came down here with some, oh, oh, we're getting a hit on the shrimp. Look at that. Come on, just take it because we only got one shrimp left. My options are either, either whatever this is, we can eat it, but we do need to stay till it gets dark to test out this new tactical flashlight. So the options are for bait, wait till the bait comes in or fish here for a little bit, go get whatever I have. I have strawberry chicken, I have other things we could use. Or, you know, somebody could show up, the person that was dropping all this shrimp and chicken bones, which I think it's these kids that we said hi to. Look at that.
I believe we have a fish here. I couldn't tell. Yeah. Well, you know. We have a gaff top. I believe because this is not a regulated fish that we could use this as bait. Got a little piece of gaff top here. I've done this before and I caught fish. Here we go. That'll actually stay on a good while. That is a filet style piece right there. The chicken bone is still there. What do you know? Not sure if that actually got a bite. At this point, I have to wonder, is this going to be a catch and cook? We might have to take that off the table. We might just have to let this session be what it's going to be. But at least we have some bait. In the past, when I've used gaff top as bait, I actually ended up catching gaff top mostly. I believe I caught other things as well. It's not legal here in the state of Louisiana to use game fish and flatheads, channels and blues follow under that. But gaff tops and hardheads do not. They're not regulated. Got something in this net. Not sure what. Oh, it's not what we want. But so it's finally gone dark, and I've gone back to throw in the net. Still got two lines out there with gaff top. We're about to switch to switch one to river shrimp because I am getting some uh, decent sized ones. We got this decent gar here. We're gonna get out of the net and let go. There's also a big shrimp in here somewhere. Here we go. That's a decent size. That's the second one. There he goes. After one more throw of the net, look at that. Look at the size of that river shrimp. That is huge. I'm gonna put this river shrimp on a two-aught. I'm gonna hook them in the back of the tail, just like that. I'm not gonna put this one out too far, about maybe 20 feet in front of me. And here we go. Oh, maybe not. He's trying. I got something. There we go. That's a hookup. Running too. This was all the way to the left in the corner. Oh! Did you guys hear him pop out there? I don't know. That may have been a gar. Or he didn't get hooked up. Let's see, did he bite through me? No. Dang it. We lost a decent fish there. Ooh. This is shrimp now on this one. I put two shrimp on a smaller hook. I switched out the six aught for a smaller hook. He's giving me a slack line. It's not far out. I think there might be a bunch of gar feeding up in here. A small gar, like the one that I kicked out of the net. I went to reel this in because I thought that fish stripped me. But no. No. What do you know? We have them here. This might be a lighter leader. It's something I tied up a while ago. I'm not sure what the test on it is. Maybe, tw not 20. It's got to be 30 to 50. we got oh ho, ho, ho. the river is interesting tonight and there he goes okay this same distance different ferocity Hit pretty solid. Hit pretty solid. Hopefully this isn't a gar. 
because I think I lost one a second ago. <clears throat> Coming in pretty good all of a sudden. Oh, a little bit of a fight right there. Maybe, maybe something I can eat. not bad less than 20 pounds I'll weigh that real quick He's like a angry blue cat angry not happy all right just a little bit over 10 pounds awesome that'll do before we go cook let's see what this flashlight does we're gonna go with the first button the front button gonna hold it down cycling in and out if you keep holding that down it'll just keep cycling in and out all right turbo time this is when you gotta pair it with the bam bam hit that back button bam that's over 2,000 lumens that is pretty blight light bright <laughs> light it's bright it's not quite blight but it is really bright it's making the shrimp pop out of the water. There's a lot of grass shrimp really close in. Ooh, look, there's bigger stuff moving in the water. Ooh, look, there's shad. Oh, hold on, hold on. It figures when I'm ready to go, the mullet show up. There's something else in the net here too. Let's see what that is. A little white bass. Now we can go. Look at this. I got a bunch of mullet now. There's nothing there for you. I cut the fish already. So that is what I'm going to cook tonight. And the rest is in the freezer. Here we have some blackened redfish magic here. It's a lot like the seafood magic. Just a little different. We're going to coat each side. And then I want to rub it in, just massage it pretty good, get it in there. And then flip and repeat. For my taste, this is what I want it to look like on each side, pretty much. I'm going to let it sit for a second, let that spices and seasoning soak up a little bit into the fish. Get a little olive oil in the pan here. I'm not actually making blackened catfish, but something similar. That is good and hot. Should have a sizzle. Yeah, there's that sizzle. Nice. This is probably going to be about three minutes per side, though these two smaller pieces are going to cook faster than this, but not much. It's about almost the same because they're all three about the same thickness. This one's just a little more square footage here. Time to flip. We're getting some shrinkage here too. We are calling that done, and it is amazing how much these three pieces shrink. I've already got a plate of food. We've got risotto here, and we've got lima beans and okra right there. I'm gonna go ahead and plate this up. This, these three pieces are extremely encrusted with spices, herbs, seasoning. Here we go. Nice. You think I overdid it with the spices? Maybe. I doubt it though. Let's get right in there. Well, I did not. Whoa. That is good. Mmm. Wow. A lot of flavor. Wow. Whew. a lot of flavor yeah you're right all right guys if you're interested in the tactical light 
I couldn't resist. I had to take another bite. Yeah, there's a link down in the description. I like the light. It's pretty cool. I like this fish. Still amazing how much it shrank, but whoa. That, if you've never tried that seasoning mix, it is really good. Not just for blackening stuff, but for a lot of different uses in your cooking. Mmm. I'm actually starving. I could just eat this right here. Let the camera just go. But, there's other things I gotta do. Thanks for watching, liking, subscribing, sharing, and I'll see you next time.